not many political personalities were ever so vigorously criticized, yet few have ever received such unanimous tributes after their death. Members of all political parties attended the funeral of the Right Honorable J.G. Coates. He was saluted as a soldier, respected as a personality. The funeral began in Wellington, and in Auckland, a burial service was held in the cathedral. The long journey back to his electorate ended at Matakohi, where the military guard of honor led the gun carriage in slow procession through the countryside. Here by the parish church ended the story of one of New Zealand's most outstanding political figures. He had been a soldier, a farmer, a member of parliament, a prime minister. When he died, he was Minister of Armed Forces, and he died while he worked. A lavish use of landmines by the enemy hindered the speed of our recent advance through Tripoli into Tunisia. We outpaced them in the air and on the land, but we could advance no faster than the minefields would permit. Much of the dangerous work of mine detecting fell to the NZ engineers, working with forward units of the 8th Army through the long-running fight from Egypt. Mines need to be handled with the greatest care. One may conceal another. Sensitive triggers must be found and made safe. The round flat mines are intended to check tanks and transport with a heavy charge of high explosive. The smaller jam-tin kind are thrown into the air by a secondary charge, then exploded like shrapnel. A deadly job, this one. Arriving in Auckland today is Rear Admiral Theodore Stark Wilkinson, Deputy Commander of the South Pacific Area for the United States Navy. To meet him are representatives of all New Zealand services. After five months' experience in the South Pacific, he is here on inspection duty. Before leaving Auckland, he chats with New Zealand veterans of World War I who ply him with questions. In reply, he says, The New Zealanders are faring well and sharing well. They're sharing all of our work and our fights and, I hope, our results. The New Zealand Air Forces are stationed on many of the islands. Some of the New Zealand Air Forces have been on Guadalcanal and are fighting right with our own Air Forces and doing their share of the execution. The New Zealand Navy has joined us. You've heard, of course, of the Kiwi and the Moa. The cruiser Leander is working right with our cruisers. The New Zealand Army, New Zealand Division, is, as we say in America, raring to go. Is well trained, ready to fight. I can't say where it, what it, where it is, but I can tell you that it will be given its chance, just as will all of our own Army and Marines in the ground fighting and as the campaign progresses. The New Zealanders were in this war at the beginning, and I can tell you that from what I see of them here, and certainly in this area, they will be in it at the finish. Oh, <laughs> my 